Okay, so hello everyone. Good afternoon. If there's anyone else who still cannot hear me, please let me know. I will get back to you in chat. But for now, we will be starting um, the webinar proper. So for those who have been with us on the past three webinars that we've already had, welcome back. And for those who are their first time to join us for our webinar, hashtag beat COVID-19 webinar series for travel agencies to bounce back. Welcome to our fourth installation, which is actually the part two of Crash Landing on Switzerland. So with that being said, I would like to introduce as well our colleagues, our friends from the Swiss Tourism Board. Um, we have Miss Melanie Brunner from who is the sales and marketing manager of Southeast Asia for the Swiss travel system. And she's the one who's mainly in charge of explaining to us about the Swiss travel pass. And then we have Miss Jennifer Chin, who's project manager for Leisure and Mice for Southeast Asia. So if you have any questions about Switzerland in general, you can always ask her. Um, we also have a special guest, Miss Dominic Goy. For those who joined us during the first webinar, she was also one of the hosts together with us. And the three of them are joining us today to be able to explain to us and give us more knowledge about the Swiss Travel Pass. Now, for those who were able to join us during the first webinar, a lot of you were asking how can we get from Zurich to the place where they had this picture or where they had a shooting location in Lake Lungern and then from there how do we get to Interlaken. So obviously the first part of the webinar was all about just giving you the basic idea for groups for mice um, and also in general the transportation was for coaches or for buses for group tours. This is why we created the crash landing on you contest in which we ask all the participating agents and thank you to everyone, all the 30 participants who gave in their entries. We are going to announce the winners today. So watch out at 6 p.m. We're going to send out the email for those who won. But basically the, the itineraries are all based on coach tour going from one place from Zurich all the way to Interlaken and back by bus. Whereas this time around, we want also to include all the FIT passengers who might want to have um, like a more lax itinerary and in a sense more free time in their hands. They can freely plan their own itinerary together with the Swiss Travel Pass. And we noticed as well that not a lot of our travel agents know about the Swiss Travel Pass, how it works, where we can get it, where we can purchase it, and in general, how the clients can actually use this when they come to Switzerland. And so with that, without further ado, I'm going to give the table now to Miss Jennifer Chin, who's going to tell us more briefly, a, a, a brief introduction on this on today's webinar. Thank you, Felice. Again, I'm um, Jennifer. Welcome to the webinar Crash Landing on You Part 2. This means, once again, a warm welcome to Switzerland from all of us at Switzerland Tourism virtually. So, uh, again, uh, like what Felice said, I am the project manager for Legion and Mines of Philippines. Uh, we had such a great run for Part 1, and we saw all the the 30 entries that you guys have submitted. So uh, like what Billy say, we are improving your game by introducing our strategic uh, premium partner, Swiss Travel System. And we have Melanie that will be sharing with you more about how the public transportation in Switzerland work so they can create the best uh, travel experience to Switzerland for your clients. So without further ado, I shall send I'll pass over to Melanie. I'll be stop sharing now, Melanie. Yes, hello everybody. I'm gonna share my screen. Give me one second. All right, so it's great to have you all here for this second session. I'm very excited about it because today we are gonna focus on how to visit all the crash landing on new sites by train, bus and boat. And believe me, this is actually the best way how you should discover Switzerland. So uh, this, uh, my, my slides are structured in three parts. Just to give you an idea, I'm gonna be talking uh, about some general uh, public transportation uh, things first. 
and then we are going to focus on how to go to crash landing on new locations by public transportation. Last but not least, there's some additional itinerary ideas that I want you guys to know about so you can create uh, interesting products in the future. Okay. Let me introduce myself first. Uh, Melanie, I'm a team member of Switzerland Tourism uh, Office in Singapore. So I'm a colleague of Jennifer and Dominic as well. Uh, I work for Swiss Travel System. This is something very similar to Switzerland Tourism. Switzerland Tourism promotes Switzerland uh, as a whole. And we actually focus on promoting Switzerland by train, bus and boat. So let's jump right into the presentation. Um, I want to start with a, a really nice fact. Last year we had a, a new record. We had half a million Swiss francs sold to Filipino nationals. So this is all the Swiss travel system tickets, Swiss travel passes that we sold to Filipinos last year, which is actually more than 60% uh, increase compared to the previous year. So why am I telling you this? I thought it's a very positive note to start because my goal is also to equip you with knowledge about the Swiss travel pass and other products. So you're confident to go out and sell this to your customers and also uh, become a part in the growing sales of the, of the tickets itself. So you might wonder why um, why uh, is Swiss travel system so successful in the Philippines? So actually, of course, partly because the FIT sector is, is growing, but also because there are really lots of reasons that make public transport such an interesting way to see Switzerland. And this is not just for FITs, this is also true for groups. And I'm going to be touching on, on uh, options for groups here and there as well, in case some of you uh, uh, are from group or MICE departments. Okay, so I give you a few reasons why uh, Filipinos love to travel by train. First of all, of course, it's our panorama. It's truly the best way how you can enjoy your ride because you have oversized windows, especially in the premium panoramic trains. So this makes it a, a very, very special uh, way of, of traveling. Um, of course, it's also the most comfortable way. As you can see, this uh, gentleman is traveling in first class. There you have generally you have more uh, space for your legs, uh, you have ample seats. Uh, there is also enough space for luggage. There is also luggage service. I'm going to touch on that later on. And most of our trains, they have onboard restaurants or, or uh, push carts, bistros, etc. So you don't need to starve on board. Another reason that makes it so interesting is the accessibility because we can easily change from uh, one means of transportation to the next. So let's say if I'm to arrive with a boat or with a bus and I want to change to the train, almost always it's next to each other where the pier is, there's a train station and there's a bus station. So we can easily hop on, hop off, especially if you have the Swiss travel pass. Another maybe not so obvious reason is that it's really a true Swiss way of traveling. So unlike other countries, for example, in Southeast Asia, where it's con considered more of a, a poor way of traveling, it is not like that at all in Switzerland. Uh, we have a very reliable network and even our ministers and politicians, they often travel by train when they go to their next meeting or session in parliament. So you might also see a few locals and famous celebrities on board the trains. The last of the reasons that I want to mention is our diversity. So we have so much to offer when it comes to uh, public transportation. There are um, uh, cable cars like this one that we can see in the picture with an open top roof. We have nostalgic paddle steamer boats on, uh, on the lakes, or you could have a romantic dinner in one of the uh, panoramic cabins of a cableway. There are theme trains like cheese and chocolate trains. 
So there is so much to discover in Switzerland if you decide you want to go by train. The network itself is actually the densest network in the world. So nobody else has as many kilometers of train, bus and boat as the Swiss do. And it is very easy to navigate because our trains are almost always on time. So even if you miss one, you can easily just wait for the next one. This gives you an idea of our uh, network itself. I, I know that you're not able to actually read what's written, but that doesn't matter. I just want to introduce you quickly to uh, the different uh, lines that you can see. Uh, by the way, this map we usually distribute during our Switzerland travel experience. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to do that again soon at the next workshop. So in red here, you can see the train lines. These are usually going from city to city. Uh, we have yellow lines as well. These are our buses that also venture into the countryside a little more. Uh, and on the lakes, for example, uh, down here in Lake Geneva, you can see some white lines. These are our boats. And what you cannot see because it's too tiny, but there are some black lines, here is Interlaken, where uh, we have the mountain railway. So all of this is considered public transportation in Switzerland. And with the Swiss travel pass, we can actually access all of this with one ticket. Our network also stands out because we have very short distances. So from city to city, let's give, me, let's give you an example. Zurich to Lucerne is only 15 minutes by train. Um, we also have uh, the airports with their own train stations in the same building. So in Zurich, you only have to go down uh, two levels and you can already uh, reach the tracks and board your train. So this is very convenient. Uh, we have regular interval timetables. That means that, for example, the intercity train from Zurich to Lucerne leaves at every 30 minutes. So it's very easy to navigate, even if you're traveling with a group, a bigger group as well. Generally, and also important information is in Switzerland, we don't need to do a seat reservation. This is for all the regular trains and boats and buses. There's no need to do a seat reservation for FITs. If you are a group, there is an option and you should, you should do this because it's free of charge. You can uh, reserve a, a part of, of a carriage if you're more than 10 people. So uh, this service is free of charge. I'm going to be talking about the premium panoramic trains uh, in a few minutes because there, of course, we need to do a seat reservation because those are the touristic trains uh, where we want to be sure that you have a seat. Um, for those of you who have, you have ne never been uh, to Switzerland, uh, we have two train classes on all trains. So there's first and second class. Uh, what is the difference between the two? Well, actually, the, both are really nice. Even second class is quite spacious. But of course, in first class, you have uh, even more space for yourself, for your luggage. And the seating arrangement would be two by two on a second class train and two by one on a first class train. Uh, also, you have in first class, there's usually less people, so it's less crowded, it's a little more, more quiet. So if your clients have uh, that little bit of extra money, I, I would definitely recommend to go uh, for first class tickets. Now I want to uh, jump straight into the Swiss travel pass because that's what you all want to know about, I hope. Um, the Swiss travel pass is really our flagship product because it's an all in, in one ticket. So that means that with only one ticket, I can travel by train, bus and boat all around Switzerland. Remember the map that I showed to you? I can also travel on all the premium panoramic trains. So here is now that extra little information that you need to remember. The premium panoramic trains, such as the famous Glacier Express. The ticket itself um, to go from A to B is included in the Swiss travel pass, but you need to top up for your seat reservation fee. So it's usually a small fee that you have to pay on top. 
um, we have in the Swiss Travel Pass three mountains which are completely free of charge, Mount Rigi, Mount Stanzerhorn and Mount Stoos. I'm going to show you a picture uh, of them later on. And what is also really nice, we have 50% discount on many other mountain excursions, such as Mount Titlis uh, or Mount uh, Matterhorn. Then uh, when it comes to city travel, for example, if you're in Zurich, you can use the whole uh, urban transport network as well. So usually they have trams and buses in the city, so you can use any of these as well. And what is a real asset is the 500 museums that are for free. So um, you can imagine maybe not every day in Switzerland will be sunny. So if it's raining or you have special interest in history or art, etc., there's so many museums to, to uh, discover. Um, so in the uh, bottom right corner, you can get an idea of the prices of the Swiss travel pass. So we have different validities. You can see the three, four, eight and 15 day prices. So how it works is if you buy this uh, consecutive pass, let's say you, you're going to buy the three day uh, pass. Today is the 22nd of April. So that means you will be traveling the 22nd, the 23rd and the 24th of April. So every day you're traveling. Um, whereas we also have the option for a Swiss travel pass flex. I didn't put this on the slides because it's um, this product of course we sell it a little bit less but it's also available if you want to go for freely selectable days. So you could have a three-day pass flex and you can choose on which days you want to travel. For example today then I travel again on Friday and I travel again on Monday. So this is also an option. Um, I just want to, to point out that if you look at the 15 day pass, of course, the more days you buy, the cheaper uh, the pass gets. So this is important to remember when it comes to do itineraries, because even if you're traveling maybe six days in Switzerland, then it might still be worth to, uh, to buy the eight day pass. Okay. Um, Felice, do we have any questions so far? Because I don't want to want you to fall asleep in case there's anything, please let me know. Feel free to interrupt. Yeah, we do have some questions. Um, one is how much is the difference between first and second class tickets? You already see it on the prices. Yes. Um, I, what I, month I, yeah. is the best Sorry. visit Switzerland? What month is the best time to visit? That was the question. Yeah. Well, you know, actually this is, is a very difficult question because our country has four seasons and each of them is truly beautiful in itself. So of course, the main travel period for our market in Southeast Asia would be May to October. But um, I guess for the Philippines, another peak season could also be coming up towards the end of the year, uh, towards December. So this is another very exciting period too, even if it's cold, it's very, uh, you know, magical with the snow and Christmas time. So I can't say uh, for sure, it depends what you, what you want to see. <laughs> and then another one is, um, where can they get the Swiss travel pass? Yes, maybe we can discuss this at the end, if that's okay, huh? All right. Yes? <laughs> okay, I'll go on. Okay, now, there might be FIT travelers that have children and they will want to bring them along. And the beauty of our Swiss travel pass is that you can actually bring along your own children below 16 free of charge. So it doesn't matter how many children, but must be your own children. Even if you have three children that are below 16, you can bring them uh, along for free. They get exactly the same benefits like the parents who have the Swiss travel pass. So this is a really great way how uh, families can save money. This I was mentioning already uh, with the Swiss Travel Pass, we have more than 500 museums that are free. So on the right side, one of my favorite ones, you can see the trophy, uh, the FIFA World Football Trophy. Uh, this you can actually see um, 
for real at the museum in Zurich. And I also put down the values of those admissions. So to give you a little bit an idea of the value of the Swiss travel pass itself. All of these museums, another one very famous is Olympic Museum in Lausanne, Shia Castle in Montreux, all of these are also fully included and you can decide on spot whether you want to go in or not. Now, many of you, I think, will know at least one or two or hopefully more of the premium panoramic trains in Switzerland. These uh, are really the most beautiful landscapes of our country and oftentimes we cannot even access it by coach. So that's why we highly recommend for anybody who buys the Swiss Travel Pass to travel at least on one premium panoramic train because remember it's included, the journey is included, we only need to pay uh, an additional seat reservation fee. Um, so just a short note here, um, thinking of those who work uh, with groups and, and even incentives, these can also use the premium panoramic trains because it's possible to reserve part of the carriage for your group or even a whole carriage for an incentive group. This can also be arranged. Now I put all our uh, premium panoramic trains in Switzerland on one slide and I'm gonna quickly walk you through it. So we have uh, on the top in the middle, we have the Bernina Express, very famous premium panoramic train in the Eastern part of Switzerland. It's linking Switzerland with Italy in the South. Um, and this is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Train. It's beautiful, it goes to 2,000 meter high and then uh, going down to Italy with all the palm trees uh, uh, down there. Then uh, the top right corner shows us the Glacier Express. This I'm sure you know, it's, it's really world famous. It links the Yalpan resorts of St. Moritz and Zermatt with each other. Um, this is special as well because you can get a three course meal at your seat and this is, uh, they have a restaurant on board where everything is cooked uh, freshly. Uh, the bottom left corner, we have the Gotthard Panorama Express. So this is um, special because it's actually a combination of a, a boat ride on Lake Lucerne and the panoramic train ride that goes all the way to the Italian part of Switzerland called Ticino. So this is another great uh, way of traveling. Then in the, at the bottom in the middle, we have the Golden Pass panoramic train. This one uh, links the French part of Switzerland in the west to the German speaking part in the center. So you will literally travel from sparkling Lake Geneva across the vineyards and to the impressive castles until the Swiss hill capes uh, start in the Bernese overland. Last but not least, um, the right bottom corner, we have Lucerne Interlaken Express, another great panoramic train connecting the two top destinations, Lucerne and Interlaken with each other. So remember all of these are included in the Swiss travel pass. Now, if your clients travel to Switzerland, for sure they will want to see the mountains, very important. So if they have the Swiss travel pass, it's really a good uh, tip if you ask them what kind of mountains they want to see before they leave, because you might be able to um, uh, issue these, these mountain tickets for them as well and earn a little commission through that. So these are the three mountains that we have in 2020 this year. Uh, Mount Rigi, Mount Stanzerhorn and Mount Stoes. Um, I'm not going to be telling you much more about it at this point because there's a few slides later on. But these mountains are all in the region of Lucerne and we don't need to buy a ticket. We can simply go with the Swiss travel pass. Then, of course, other mountains that you might know, like Gornegrat and Matterhorn Glacier Paradise near Zermatt, these are also discounted. You get 50% off with the Swiss Travel Pass. 
Um, we have Glacier 3000 near Gstaad as well, 50% off. Then there is Pilatus and Titlis near Lucerne, where you also get a 50% discount. So you can see that with the Swiss Travel Pass, you really get a very powerful ticket because it gives you so many inclusions and so many discounts that you even cannot finish them all, even if you wanted to. Uh, do we have any questions about mountains or panoramic trains? Or if not, I will continue. For the panoramic trains, we do have a question coming from Miss Louise. How long are the panoramic train rides? Yes, that's a good question. So it depends. I mean, they have different lengths. The shortest one, the Lucerne Interlaken Express, will last one hour and 50 minutes. And the longest one, which is Glacier Express, takes actually eight hours. But you don't need to do the full there. You can also uh, cut it into half by buying a, a partial section only. Yeah. Okay. And then um, we do have two questions coming from Danica, but I think that will be discussed a bit later on. So if it's not, then we will answer it later. We have um, from Miss Eva, which is the best mountain that you recommend during autumn or winter season? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's another question. I mean, there's not like a best mountain because we have so many. There's such a great choice. But I think if you listen to the full presentation, you, I will walk you through a few, which I think are some of the top mountains. And then uh, if you still have further questions, maybe we can take that afterwards. No, we can continue. Okay, can fine. Again later. Yes. Okay, sorry, uh, luggage. This is also for me one of the basics that we need to know about Switzerland and its public transportation because often uh, uh, your, your customers might ask what about my luggage, especially the, the heavy suitcases that they might bring along and I guess Filipinos also have a lot of luggage when they travel. So I, I can assure you that um, we have luggage service available in Switzerland. Of course, it's not included in the Swiss Travel Pass. You need to pay extra, but it's possible to send your suitcases from A to B. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, this slide looks very confusing, but um, I will summarize it the following way. There is a luggage service to Switzerland, meaning that you can drop off your luggage uh, at Manila in the airport and you don't need to touch it uh, until you arrive at the hotel. So you will receive a tag that's gonna be sent uh, from Switzerland, the luggage tag, where, and the confirmation slip that you can attach to the suitcase. Uh, and then you normally board your plane, you check in, and when you land in Zurich, you uh, clear immigration. You don't even need to touch your suitcases on the belt. You can simply, uh, take the first train and go about to discover your first destinations because your luggage will be sent directly to your first hotel. The pricing you can see on the, on the slide, so we charge per piece and there's always a flat rate, um, whether express or next day delivery. So you don't need to memorize this all, but it's important just to, to remember in case your customers ask, what about my luggage? So it's, you know there is luggage service and this can also be booked um, through our normal sales channels. And because there was a question about this earlier, I'm gonna say this now, of course, there's different ways of how you can buy the Swiss travel pass. Um, actually, people can buy it in Switzerland too at the train station. But ideally, we would like you guys to sell it uh, before they leave so you can also earn something. Uh, and we work with different distributors such as Rail Europe or Switzerland Travel Center. And there's also Rail Tour. So these are inbound operators that um, are able to, to sell the passes to you. Uh, and I think uh, Tradewings Felice is also going to be um, talking about some attractive packages later on. Um, yes, now once you're in Switzerland, uh, your luggage can also be transported from hotel to hotel. This is very useful because if your first night is in Zurich and then on the second day you want to travel to Interlaken, 
most probably you don't want to bring along your uh, your suitcase even though you can there is space on the train for for suitcases but you might not want to do so so you can drop your luggages at the hotel reception uh, in Zurich in the morning and um, the guys who are responsible for this service will pick it up and they are gonna drop your luggages uh, again at the hotel in Interlaken on the same day if you pay for extra or the next day if you choose the regular service. Okay, that was for the FIT luggage, those two. But now um, if you're a group or let's say two families that are joining together, as soon as we have a minimum of 10 uh, persons traveling together, we can use this express door-to-door -door group luggage service and this is truly attractive look at the price it's only 300 swiss francs uh, per transport so meaning uh, one time we, we we bring it from hotel zurich to hotel interlock and this is one transport uh, and of course the more people up to 50 items of luggage the cheaper the service gets so it works between any two Swiss addresses, even in the car-free villages uh, in Switzerland. So this is, is very attractive. Okay, so let's get to the core of this uh, webinar. I'm sure you have been looking forward to this as well. Um, I would like to talk about uh, crash landing on you and how you can reach the top um, film locations by train, bus and boat. Okay, so here's a map that uh, I like to use because it shows the most scenic, scenic train routes uh, of our country. So you can see that the three uh, main film locations, Zurich City, Interlaken region and Lucerne uh, area are actually on the most scenic train routes uh, of Switzerland. So this, this is great for itineraries. Um, just to remind you, um, Zurich Airport, which is up here, the train uh, from the airport to Zurich, the city center takes only 15 minutes. So you can straight, uh, straight away uh, start to explore with your pass. So these are the slides that you will remember from the first webinar. So the two uh, spots in Zurich, they can actually easily be reached on foot, walking distance from, uh, from uh, the train station C uh, city center Zurich is about 10 minutes. So this can be done on foot. But if you have the Swiss travel pass and it's valid on that day, then you can also use a, a tram or a bus to travel uh, nearby, let's say Münsterbrücke, they have a, a tram stop here. So if you don't want to, to walk, you can use your Swiss travel pass. Of course, it's free of charge. Now, if, you, if we continue from Zurich, because there's only these two film locations in Zurich, we will pass by Lucerne. So it's 50 minutes train ride from Zurich to Lucerne. And um, I pulled out this picture to show you uh, a little bit what the train looks like. So this is a, a train, an intercity train, first class. Um, and you can see uh, here the seating arrangement um, two by one, which gives you a lot of space and comfort. And there's even power outlets here where you can charge your phones. Okay, so from Lucerne, we want to continue further to Interlaken. And now comes this panoramic train, which is really ideal for the uh, every uh, Chloe fan. So we can board in Lucerne and it takes only one hour, 50 minutes to reach Interlaken. Here's a picture to give you an idea of the journey. You will actually uh, go along five different lakes and they all have beautiful turquoise waters. You're gonna see waterfalls and there's even a small mountain pass before you reach Interlaken. So truly um, beautiful ride. The best is that we, by this train, we automatically pass uh, our stop number two, uh, of the crash landing on you film locations, which is called Lake Lungern. So I did some research and there is this chalet uh, where um, Seri and Jong Hyok, I hope I pronounced this right, 
uh, meet every year and um, I know that this is a private residence so uh, it will not be possible to visit so of course if you want to integrate this you can go uh, close by and take some selfies there or you can go also go a little bit up the hill where they had a, enjoyed a romantic picnic with a few on the gorgeous lakes so if you want to integrate this Lake Lungern uh, into your itineraries you take the Lucerne Interlaken Express and you stop at um, Kaiserstuhl that's the fourth stop on this line and from there it's about six minutes walk to um, to this chalet okay you can google it there's a lot of uh, blog posts uh, as well how to find this house so i'm sure you'll be able uh, to to find it out and you can see the train here so it actually literally goes along the lake and this uh, stop on the lucerne interlaken express is right here Here's some good to know as well. Um, the, the nice thing is this, this premium panoramic trains leave at every hour. So if you were to stop in Lake Lungern to take some pictures, get an idea of the film location, then you could possibly take one train and take one hour stop and then board the next train. So very easy. So we arrive in Interlaken with the train and here I put together all the little stars that Interlaken tourism uh, used during the last session. I'm sure you remember uh, some of it. So these are all uh, interesting film spots. And I want to start with Interlaken itself because here we have um, the Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa. So for this, uh, we don't really need to take a train because it's in walking distance between uh, the train stations. So we have two Interlaken East here and Interlaken West. There's two train stations and in the middle is the, the village or the little town of Interlaken. So if you overnight in Interlaken, then you can venture into the valleys straight from Interlaken. There is trains going this way to Lauterbrunnen and there are also trains going the other way to Grindelwald. So both of which are interesting for our Kloy film locations. Now, there is this spot with the paragliders that they were looking at in the series, Kleine Scheidegg. Maybe I go back quickly to this map so you can see it better. So you will be taking a train from Interlaken to Lauterbrunnen here. And from Lauterbrunnen, you have to change train and you go up to Kleine Scheidegg. Another way to get there is to take a train to um, Grindelwald. And from Grindelwald, we take another train to Kleine Schädeck. So either way, you have to change train here. And these two villages are also worthwhile visiting because they are very authentic Swiss mountain villages. Now we have Kleine Scheidegg here. Um, I, I put a little note on top. So this is actually 25% off with the Swiss travel pass. So you can get up to Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald, the two villages that I showed to you, free of charge because this is still included in the Swiss travel pass. And from there you will take the Jungfrau uh, cogwheel train, which looks like this, and you will get a 25% off with this train. From Kleine Scheidegg, you um, have to change train and you will go up all the way to Jungfrau Joch, top of Europe. It's about 45 minutes more from Kleine Scheidegg. And if we want to know the distance Interlaken um, up to Jungfrau Joch, it's actually two hours. So it's if, if you take time to stop, have lunch and take pictures of the different film spots, uh, it can easily be turned into a uh, even a full day or almost a full day trip. So this is um, top of Europe. Uh, I don't know if you if you know this, but it's not the highest mountain, but actually it's the highest uh, train station in Europe. That's why we call it top of Europe. 
here you can see some of the attractions and you know the things the viewing terrace on the right that is part of the of the series as well and remember you get 25 percent off with the swiss travel pass up to this um, top of europe It's operating every day of the year and you get a, a train every 30 minutes. So it takes two hours from Interlaken Ost and you have to change train in, in Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen and then again in Kleine Scheidegg, okay? Now, another, um, another film location that I think Interlock Tourism, I'm not sure if they mentioned it, but anyway, this is another great mountain. It's uh, called Top of Adventure because we have a lot of thrilling activities up there. Um, uh, you would be going to Grindelwald first, the village, and from there you can walk over to the gondola. You can see it here. This is a, a picture taken in winter time, everything full of snow. Um, little gondola going up to Grindelwald first and it takes 25 minutes to get to the summit. So um, this uh, gondola ride is also at 50% with the Swiss travel pass. So I give you an idea of the price. Normally, if you buy return to Grindelwald first, it's uh, 64 Swiss francs, but with the Swiss travel pass, you would only pay 32 Swiss francs. And if you're on Grindelwald first, these are the, the shooting uh, spots. Um, there was this paragliding takeoff point nearby that you could visit and take pictures. And then there is uh, this other spot on the right side here, which is called Schreckfeld. And this is actually along the way on the gondola. There are different stops. So this is uh, stop three, Schreckfeld, just below the first, the final spot. So what you could do and recommend uh, your customers to go up all the way to first, enjoy the view, take some pictures, maybe take a walk to the famous Bachalpsee, beautiful uh, mountain lake. And then if they have the energy, they should try uh, zip line called First Flyer that brings you down Breckfels, which is about 800 meters below. You will be hill at 84 kilometers per hour. So this is, is really a, a nice way of having a, an activity together with some of the film locations. Now, if you have time, and I highly recommend this, uh, not, don't just only do Jungfrau Joch. So much more included in the Swiss travel pass and we have beautiful lakes near Interlaken on both sides, Lake Thun and Lake Pitz, and they were also part of the show. So on the right you can see Sari, she's enjoying her bow cruise on Lake Prince. Uh, these two lakes have different um, schedules. We have Lake Thun, which uh, operates year-round. Lake Brienz has a seasonal operation from April to October. So now I did some research for you guys. Um, I know you will want to include the which is located in Wild. So I pulled out the sum title of Lake Brienz as an example, just to give you a reference of the distances. So you would be um, going from Interlaken Ost. Hope you can see it, my cursor here. So you can take a boat at 9.07 and you would arrive roughly 40 minutes later in Iselwald. So this should be in walking distance by five minutes or ten minutes walk from uh, here. And if you um, have time, you will continue with the next boat. You could take one. It's here. So this is another uh, location of the Grand Hotel beautiful Belle Epoque Hotel, and they want to have another stop. 
So it is only, yeah, actually not long, only from Iseltwald to Giesbach. Um, now, if, if you don't want to take the, the boat, if you want to be faster than that, there is also an option to take a bus. Uh, but I recommend go by a boat because it's really a pleasant way of traveling and the water of the lake is of such a beautiful color you don't want to miss out. So here in a little addition to uh, Grand Hotel Giesbach. From there uh, we have Gondra going up from the pier so you can reach this in four minutes actually. And if you have more time to see the waterfalls, so you can walk uh, six minutes and you will see the famous Giesbach waterfalls. Now I go to the other side of, of Interlaken where Lake Thun is uh, situated and this is famous spot uh, in Sigriswil with the suspension bridge and dramatic scene of our series. Um, this is not so obvious because you know it's in Sigriswil but if we go there by a um, boat we uh, have taken this, the name is Gunten. I marked it here for you as well. You can see this is again, it's the summer timetable of Lake Thun. So if you were to travel during a winter, November to March, there is a boat running, but it's less frequent than in summer. So uh, just to let you know, uh, to Gunten by boat is actually one, uh, one hour and 30 minutes from Interlock. And so it's a little third away than on the other side, Lake Prince. Um, and we need to take a bus from there, from Gunten village to Sigriswil. We can take a bus in Gunten with travel pass. It's only 10 minutes away. If you want to do this journey without, there's a shorter way. You can go from Interlaken to Gunten to by bus. So it will take the only, only 15 minutes. So this is definitely faster. And here's a, a little note of I chose, uh, choose a hotel in, in two because that might be um, cheaper than in Interlaken. From Thun, there's another timetable here on the slide, but it, it starts uh, here. In Thun, there's also a pier and you can go the opposite direction to Gunten and this will also only be 45 minutes uh, by boat. So this is two ways. So um, these are all the spots that are accessible and the main spots are all accessible by public transportation. So no problem to maximize your Swiss travel pass and get there uh, uh, by yourself, by train, bus and boat. So before I go on, I would like to ask Felice if there's any questions related to the um, Chloe part that I have been introducing? Um, at the moment, um, I'm not sure if everyone can see what is being written on chat, but just in case, because Dominique is also answering the questions that are being sent on chat, but just in case for those who cannot, cannot really read what is there on chat, we will repeat some of the questions. So a question from Sir Birko from Birko and Troy said that if seats are reserved or if they do not reserve a seat, will seats be guaranteed? But there is no guarantee that guests can sit together and perhaps some clients will be asked to vacate their seat in case someone reserved a seat they're on. And this is relating to which of the of the products, or is it general? Mainly in general, like if they, because you do have the reservation costs for the the seats. But if in case they do not want to reserve their seat and they just get on the train and sit somewhere, and would there be a chance that someone might ask them to get off the seat because it's actually reserved for another person, or? Yes, I mean, if we talk about the uh, Lucerne Interlaken Express, because there it's, it's a premium panoramic train and it's, it's uh, advisable to 
do a seat reservation to secure uh, your your customers can sit together and actually have a seat seat because sometimes during high season uh, in a normal year, now not this year, but normally it's very full. Huh? So if you want, if you have family or, or friends and they want to sit together, definitely do the seat reservation. And if you just sit somewhere, uh, people who uh, have reserved this spot, yes, they can come up to you and ask you to leave. But this is the premium panoramic train only. On regular trains and buses and boats in Switzerland, you don't need to do the seat reservation. You can pick your seat uh, uh, as soon as you board. Okay. Um, yeah. A question from Miss Venus of TQ. Are Lake Brie and Lake Thun Cruises both included in the travel pass? Yes, absolutely. They are both included. Let me go back to this slide here. Um, both of these are included. And uh, what's on top, we have special cruises like a barbecue night cruise or a brunch cruise or, or, or of course, the specially themed uh, cruises they, uh, you need to top up. But the regularly scheduled boats like the one that I put here, those are fully included with the pass, yeah. Okay, another question from Miss Pia. Is there a website where we can get the updated schedules of the boat or the bus? Yes, of course. So I suggest uh, you will all get this slideshow anyway after this webinar. So um, uh, maybe I can uh, put down the most important links for you guys to, to look it up by yourself as well. And then from Miss Karen, for the kids, since they are free of charge for the past, what do they need to present and how about with the seat reservation? Yes, so the kids who have the Swiss family card below 16 years of age, uh, they also need to do a seat reservation on the panoramic trains. This is for everybody, no matter if adult or child need to do seat reservation on the premium panoramic trains. Uh, other than that, not, not sure what was the second question. Um, for the seat reservation, do they also need to reserve a seat? And actually a follow-up question on that from Danica, is there a certain type of seat for infants and children? Uh, no, there's no special seat for infants and children, no. But you know, you saw the compartments, like you can easily sit together as a family in like two by two looking at each other. So it's, there's some privacy, no, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay. And then you mentioned on the cruise that there is a Swiss barbecue. <laughs> so someone is asking if the Swiss travel pass actually includes the meal or food or is it on top? No, food is always on top. That's not included in the Swiss travel pass. All right. I guess that's a question for now. We still have a lot of questions, actually. We'll ask them later on at the end of the webinar. Okay, fine. So now uh, this is part three. I hope you're not falling asleep. I know this is a lot of information for you, but not to worry because you will be getting the slides so you can uh, go back and, and read up if you want to know more. So I have um, additional excursion ideas for you because we were now looking at Zurich as a, as a one of the spots, uh, then at Lake uh, Lungern near Lucerne and at Interlaken area with a lot of film spots. So this is like, like kind of the core that you would want to uh, include in any itineraries uh, that are related to the crash landing on you. Uh, but now if there's more time at hand, and I do recommend to see more of Switzerland because um, those are top attractions, um, no doubt, but there's so much more. And with the pass, you already have the ticket to see these places. You don't need to pay extra. So this is the goal that I can show you a few more uh, spots and products. So one is Interlaken uh, Harde Kulm. This is actually also uh, very close from Interlaken uh, city center or town center. There's a funicular um, going up to Harder Kulm. And now this, this hotel is very famous because it offers one of the best views onto both lakes, Lake Brienz and Lake uh, Thun, and the three famous mountains behind Eigermunch and Jungfrau. So if the day before you've been on Jungfrau top of Europe, you're actually looking down, you cannot see Jungfrau because you're on top of it. But 
maybe the next day or even in the evening because there's daily evening rides as well you want to go up harder column uh, so you can take pictures with young Fremanten in the back beautiful and for this you also get a 50 percent off uh, on the ticket price with your swiss travel pass Then another really exciting mountain, which is not part of crash landing on you, but it is very famous in Switzerland. It's called Chiltorn. And it is famous because there was once a James Bond movie on Pete's Gloria. So you can see it here. Uh, there's uh, some 007 uh, on, the, on this building. Okay, so it is about 3000 meters high. And you can also get there uh, from Interlaken to the valley of Lauterbrunnen and then further on to Murren, which is another village. Up to there, it's actually everything fully included in your Swiss travel pass. And then from there, you get another 50% off to, uh, with the cable car to the top. Uh, what you can do on top, there is a revolving restaurant, um, the one that you saw as well. And there is a skyline viewing platform and there is a thrill walk which looks like this and there is also an interactive James Bond museum which is really nice to see so if you're into this I highly recommend this as an additional uh, excursion into the Interlaken region with your Swiss travel pass now to give you an example of a museum because the museums, remember, more than 500 of them are fully included in our past two. So I pulled out one which is, is interesting. It's called um, Open Air Museum Bollenberg. So you can see here in the background, these are all traditional housings from Switzerland from the past. So you could possibly compare it to uh, Shirakawago in Japan. You have to picture something like that. Uh, how do I get there? You can actually um, stop in Brienz. Brienz is also a stop on the Lucerne Interlaken Express train. Or you just board any train from Interlaken and you go to Brienz. And from there, it's a 20 minute bus ride to this open air museum. The whole, uh, the whole um, excursion by train and entrance to the museum is fully included in your Swiss travel pass. Okay, so what's more? Now in red you see the film locations that we spoke about uh, and I tried to map out a few other things that are very interesting extra um, extension days that you could uh, slot in. So if you're anyway passing in Lucerne, I would suggest to spend at least one day in Lucerne because it's one of the top uh, attractions in Switzerland and um, I'm going to the next slide so you can see this. Um, Lucerne, famous with the chapel bridge, um, so you would want to see uh, maybe half day in the city and then if there's still time uh, you could even do one of the three mountains that I mentioned uh, at the beginning. So this is Mount Rigi, accessible from uh, Lucerne easily. You can go up uh, by cable, uh, sorry, by cableway and then when you're on top, there's a few on 13 different lakes. There are restroom facilities you can uh, take a, a short walk around to. And when you go down, there's a possibility to have uh, a boat ride back to uh, Lucerne. So you have different modes of transportation to see one mountain. You can go up by cogwheel train on one side, down by cable car on the other side, and then back to Lucerne by boat. So this is nice, for example, for families with children who want to try out different modes of transportation. And as you can see, I, I, I purposely put here the value of this excursion, 72 Swiss francs. Now imagine if you have a, a family of five, you don't need to pay a single cent for this excursion with the Swiss travel pass. Oh yeah, here you can see where it's on the map, accessible from Lucerne. And then another free mountain that is worthwhile visiting is the Cabrio Stanzerhorn. 
So this is a, a, a very famous cable car because it has this open uh, thatched roof. You can go up, you don't have to, there's a staircase, but if you wish, you can go up and while you are riding, you can breathe in the fresh mountain air. So very exciting. Value also 74 Swiss francs uh, for retail. Now, as another excursion, maybe I have to bring you back to this map quickly so you remember it. So here I was thinking of uh, your itinerary that might end in Interlaken and instead of going straight back to Zurich, you could do an extra loop passing nearby Bern. Bern is our capital city and it looks like this. This is Bern City, beautiful town, a lot of historic buildings. There is the famous rose garden that you can visit. There is a bear pit where you can see actual bears that have been living in the city for a long time. Um, there is a clock tower um, that is very famous too. And there is our parliament building and there are museums that you can also visit free of charge with the Swiss travel pass. This is really a beautiful old town and it's our capital. So I think instead of rushing back to Zurich, if you have that extra time, you don't need much because it's only one hour from Interlaken by train, you can do a city tour, walking, everything is accessible uh, by foot. And then you can continue to Zurich. It's another hour then from Bern to Zurich. So really not far away. Um, and if your customers, uh, they feel like uh, with the Swiss travel pass, they wanna try out or add on another panoramic train, here is uh, what I can suggest. Um, this is the Glacier Express. And what you can see here is actually excellence class. So I wanted to show you this. If you have uh, customers with extra money, high end luxury customers, this is what you can suggest them. This is excellence class um, and it has a, a five course typical Swiss meal that they are gonna serve to you uh, by the seat. You get a wine pairing as well. Um, you see this is what the seats look like so it's one by one everybody gets an exclusive uh, view and uh, you also have a um, concierge that will attend to guests and you get a, a tablet throughout the day so you have entertainment of course this um, excellence class comes at an additional surcharge so it's not the journey is included again on the swiss travel pass but if you want to travel in this luxurious class you have to pay for an additional supplement but this is another idea how you could um, from Interlaken include one more panoramic train ride okay so there is some additional information that I would like to mention there is an application that we have launched uh, two years back called Swiss Travel Guide app and uh, I recommend you to download it. It's free of charge. You can go to Google Play Store or Apple Store. Uh, and this is really nice because um, uh, you can recommend it to your customers as well. It's a digital travel guide. You will see a dashboard here where you can add on your favorites uh, in Switzerland. Let's go and and it's an interesting session you found out that we discount um in of interlocken so with your swiss travel pass download the swiss travel guide app go to uh discounts and get the menu here and then you get for example lake Prince a free upgrade to first class so our boats usually have two classes. The second class is on the lower level and our first is Okay, I think she disappeared. <laughs> Melanie, are you there? Guys, can you hear me still? Yeah, now I can. It was a Sorry. 
part of the when you were discussing about the Swiss travel guide app. So could you just go back a bit from that? Yes. Okay. I'm still sharing my screen. You can see it, right? Uh, no, at the moment, no. You cannot see it. Okay. How come? Yes. Sorry. One second. Yes. Now you can see it. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, sorry for that uh, technical interruption. I hope it works now. So I was just mentioning that we have a, a very interesting app uh, as well that you can recommend to your customers, especially FIT customers who travel by it's Swiss Travel Guide app. You should also uh, try it out. You can download it for free and um, it looks like this. Sorry. And uh, favorites, so they come to the the front page. So what you want to see and visit in Switzerland. There are um, train schedules also um, that you can easily check with the app. And what is really nice, there are some discounts. So you can navigate here to the discount section, and you can get a free upgrade to first class on Lake Friends navigation. So this is really interesting. This is, of course, you need to have a Swiss travel pass or another Swiss travel system ticket to activate it. And then on Shield Tarn, remember the James Bond Mountain, you can get a two for one burger or hot dog meal. So these are like extra discounts that you can get and you should recommend these to your FIT clients as well. Last but not least, Swiss Travel System has also a trade platform called mystsnet.com. Please go there and take a look at all our products. There's everything from a panoramic to a mountain tops to uh, uh, offers for mice and incentives, luggage service. There's really a lot uh, of information. And of course, even after this webinar, if you um, have questions or, or have uh, itineraries you're not sure about, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and I would like to announce a, an extra session that I'm doing with Rail Europe because here I didn't have so much time to talk about the panoramic trains and the mountains, but we do have a session coming up and I will send you the, the invite as well with our follow-up. It's next week on Tuesday 28th of April and on Thursday 30th of April. So you can choose whichever timing suits you and it would be great uh, to see you guys then uh, again with a deep dive into those products. Yeah, so I'm at the end of my presentation. I'm happy to answer questions if there's any. Okay, so going back, we actually had some questions from before, but we saved them for after the webinar. So we have a question coming from Danica of Skywind. So not a lot of them have experience getting on a train in Switzerland. They're asking where do they store their luggage in the trains? Okay, yes. So um, maybe I, I can navigate back to, um, to that slide with the first class, if you allow me to. Um, sorry, uh, trying to find this, yes. Okay, so here, can you see this now? It's the first class that I wanted to show you. And in between the um, seats, and this is not only in first class, but also in second class, here there's space for small suitcases. On top, there's also a rack where you can uh, put your, your bags and small suitcases. And in the end of the carriages, there is um, usually there's a, a luggage compartment. So it's quite wide and people can stack uh, luggages and also even their skis and snowboards. There's a, a rack to put that in. So it's it is, it is okay. If you're okay to bring your suitcase, there is space on the train. So if you don't want to use the luggage service, that's fine too. All right. Thank you for that. Um, another question from her. If 
they have a group and they're using the Swiss travel pass to go on one of the mountains, how can they avail of the 50% discount or the discounts without having the hassle to ask the clients to pay on the spot? Um, I mean, that would depend who you, they are getting the tickets from. I mean, usually you would buy before you're leaving. So whichever inbound operator or tour operator that they buy it from can, can get this ticket, of course, before, before they leave. But they're asking if, for example, they already have the Swiss travel pass, uh, say a group of 10 people, but they want to visit mounted list. And instead of all the clients paying on the spot 50% with their Swiss travel pass, is there a way for the agent to actually arrange to pay for the 50% off beforehand? Or how can they work on that? Yes, I mean, there is, it's a little bit complicated, but we have uh, in the Philippines, Rail Europe, who is the main distributor in, in Southeast Asia, also have two GSAs in, um, in the Philippines. So I'm just going to mention them. Uh, these are called Adventure uh, International Tours and TAC Tours. So they uh, both have access to the full range of not only uh, Swiss travel passes, tickets, but also premium panoramic trains and also mountains. So you could be issuing that through them. And of course, if you have the Swiss travel pass, then it will be a discounted ticket. Okay. And then um, regarding the luggage service that you mentioned beforehand, is it available for hotels or only available for hotels or can also be transported to Airbnbs or another location other than a hotel? Um, yes, it depends. For FIT, it has, uh, I mean, for FIT, it's a little bit more limited. So usually you can uh, send it to your hotel or to your station nearby okay so for um for groups they wouldn't be staying anyway at airbnb i guess so it's usually from hotel to hotel but this i mean to be honest we would have to check it because normally um we when we had to arrange it it is also for hotels but i believe it could be done for um private addresses too but i would have to uh, uh confirm that and then get back yeah and then um, a question from Ms. Landy of Airlight, is luggage service only applicable for those with Swiss, Swiss travel pass or can they also avail of the luggage service without the STP? Yes and no. <laughs> um, so if you, as long as you have a Swiss travel system ticket. So now today I talked a lot about Swiss travel pass because this is the best ticket to see all of Switzerland. It's the least complicated, the, the easiest way, but there is also other tickets. Let's say if you just want to buy point to point, you go Zurich, Interlaken, of course, you can also just only buy this ticket and then you can also uh, use this luggage service but the uh, what you have to um, the minimum requirement is you must have a valid ticket for the uh, that stretch where your luggage will be delivered you know so you cannot do self-drive and buy the the luggage service that doesn't work must be public transport ticket okay um question from sir steward the rate for the luggage service is the same regardless of the size of the luggage? No, there is some limitations, but as a reference, you can uh, take whatever the airlines uh, normally have as well, you know. So this is the, the same size of, of suitcase counted as per piece. So I think the, the maximum is 25 kg per piece, but usually it's anyway, you cannot take more usually on the plane. Okay, and some, you mentioned a while ago you do have a webinar coming for URail. Um, someone is asking, what's the difference between a URail pass and a Swiss travel pass? Okay, yeah. So URail pass uh, allows you disco to discover um, 
the countries all around Europe. So there's like 31 countries included in the URL pass. And Switzerland is also a part of it. So if you buy the global pass in URL, you also get some uh, perks and discounts. Uh, for example, you can also uh, travel on the panoramic trains uh, and you can also go to certain mountains, but you get less discounts on the mountains. Some, you know, some where you get 50, you get only 25 with the URL. And on the lakes, like Lake uh, Briens, etc., you don't get to travel for free you will get a discount. So that's the difference. I mean, if Switzerland is at the core of your itinerary, uh, whether is it a mono, mono Switzerland or even multi, but you stay uh, quite a few days, then I would always suggest to go for the, um, the Swiss travel pass because it gives you much more. If you're on a Europe around the Europe trip, then yes, the URL park, uh, the URL pass works fine too. Okay. Um, some people are asking about the schedules and the timelines of the trains and the trams and cable cars. All of these are easily accessible on the website and yes. also on the app. So if you down, if you ask your clients to download the Swiss travel guide, you can also see it there. Yes. Um, I'm going to include that in my email as well uh, when we follow up because there's a, a, a Swiss Federal Railway uh, page where you can easily check out the connections by, by yourself. Okay, and then someone is asking about the excellence um, fare for the glacier. Expert. Yes. Um, the do plague. you have an idea how much is the cost with food included? Yes, I know how much it is. So you need to have um, for the excellence class, by the way, this is like a first class. You have to picture like first class on a plane. So if uh, you want to, to do this, then you have to buy a first class ticket for um, the Glacier Express and you need to buy a supplement of 420 Swiss francs. So it's not exactly cheap, but you will throughout the day on your ride, you will get um, five course meal, you get wine pairing, you can get snacks and tea and coffee in between. So uh, it's, it's really a full day kind of concept. Okay. Um... A question from Sir Pirko, is there still a half fare or a half tax pass on top of the Swiss travel pass? Can we get a quick overview of the difference and the advantage of getting a half tax? Yes, um, there is still a Swiss half fare card in English, it's called. Um, this is still available. It's, um, it costs 120 Swiss francs and it's valid for an entire month. So of course your clients could also buy this. It would allow them to travel um, uh, at a discount. So meaning from Zurich to Interlaken, if your usual ticket would be 60 Swiss francs, then you pay, pay only 30 Swiss francs, but you still need to, to pay. It's a 50% discount on the regular prices. Okay. And um, question from two agents, where can they get the Swiss travel pass? Can their clients buy it in public? And is there a special price for travel agents? Okay, so the first question is the clients. The clients could also buy it online by themselves through um, spb.ch, which is our Federal Railways uh, website. And of course, they can get it in Switzerland at the stations. That's why we want to equip you guys to being able to sell it to them while they are still uh, back home. So they don't spend money when they are arrive in Switzerland. And if you um, want to issue the passes in, in the Philippines, there's different ways to go about it. So it's, uh, as I said, we have the two GSAs that I mentioned, Tag Tours and Adventure International. So they are fully equipped to issue passes locally. So I can send you this in an email as well to get their contact. Uh, uh, also, if you want to buy it through Rail Europe directly, they have agent login where you can earn a commission, Switzerland Travel Center, there's Rail Tour, so different uh, operators as well. Okay, um, Miss Landy is asking, is there any possibility of a luggage service from Switzerland to other parts of Europe? Yeah, unfortunately, that we, it doesn't really exist because the other countries don't know this, uh, we, this excellent service. Um, it's, no, it's not cross-border. Okay, um, question from Miss Rosalisa. 
although I can answer this, if PAX wants to save money and will not avail of luggage service, they will have to bring their suitcase around during the tour to explore. Yes, um, the luggage service is not required for your passengers. It's only for convenience if they want to avail of it as an additional. But yes, your passengers will have to bring their luggage into the train and take them wherever they go. Yeah. Then for the family pass, is there a limit on the number of kids per family? <laughs> no, I get this question very often. Uh, no, as long as they are your own children, you know, even if you have six children, but they have to be your own. Or whether you're the guardian, official guardian with a documentation that also works, but you cannot have your uh, neighbor's children and bring them along and as your own. That doesn't work. And then they... Uh, as a follow-up question to that, there is someone who is asking if, for example, you're the wife, you have the STP with a family pass, um, does the husband also have to buy the, the STP or is yes. the pass already okay? No, he has to buy. I mean, as soon as you're above 16 years of age, you need to have your own. But what I didn't mention before is that there's also a youth discount. So if you are below 26 years of age, you get a 15% discount on the pass. So I forgot to mention earlier. Okay. And um, regarding the luggage service that covers from departure airport straight to the hotel in Zurich, are you giving or is the counter giving a sticker or any luggage identification tag that they must attach to the luggage when they check in Manila airport or how will the persons in charge in Zurich claim the luggage for them? Yes, very good question. So um, the, uh, you don't actually have to talk to the, the counter staff in Manila because they might not even know about this service, but the people in Switzerland know it very well. So when you book this, whether no matter which is your, your source, whether you buy online uh, luggage service or you buy it through the GSAs, Rail Europe, whoever, they can actually um, get the labels for you. You know, they're going to send it um, from Switzerland or some have their own stock as well, the GSAs, so they can be equipping you with those labels. And it's, it's a, like a transparent label, so you will get a, a confirmation slip with the hotel address and, and uh, also, a, a, you know, a document where you just need to um, declare uh, for customs, so you just need to sign um, about the items. And like this, when it arrives in Zurich and it's on the luggage belt, the staff is trained. They know about this label. It's a green tag. So you have to picture it's a green tag on your suitcase. And they will recognize it. They will take it from the belt and they're going to transport it to your hotel. Um, a question from Miss Landy, although this one also I can answer. She mentioned that the two agents who are GSA for the passes where they can buy, um, doesn't give commission to the agents, but she believes that is, uh, is there any way that they can buy the pass with a commission or top off on the rate online isn't a good idea. Um, one thing is we can, in Trade Wings, we can actually offer you the commission that we are getting from our supplier. It's just that, that we cannot just book you the Swiss travel pass alone. It has to come with another service, say just a transfer or accommodation. It has to come with one additional service, not just the Swiss travel pass so that you can get the agent commission, which are giving it to you. At the same time, in the end, um, or most likely by next week, we are going to send you packages for in the Swiss travel pass cost is already built in and in the whole package is already commissionable to you as an agent. So that one you can sell freely to your passengers and it will be so much easier than just asking them to buy the Swiss travel pass alone. Yeah. Um, I hope that answered your question, Ms. Landy. Um, I think that's about all of the questions because all the other questions that we're seeing, like when do the shops close in December or... Um, how about the money changers? Are there any? Yes, there are a lot of money changers from the airports to the railway stations and to hotels. It's easily accessible. Um, we do have a question again from Danica. If luggage has not arrived at the hotel upon check-in or 
during the expected time of arrival for the luggage service, is there any safety measure for this or is there like some sort of insurance? Yes, there is an insurance for luggage, for every item of luggage actually. It's insured with a value of uh, 2,000 Swiss francs. So if there was a loss, then we would, or not we, actually it's the Swiss Federal Railways would reimburse it. Uh, and also for every hour of delay, there is a fee that you would get. So I can, I can also send this information. There's a fact sheet if uh, whoever's interested can drop me an email for this. Um, but actually I have to mention that not, not such has happened in the past. Uh, it's a very reliable offer, believe me. We, have, we are using this also for our media and fam trips. So even if we are traveling with 20 uh, people in a group, we are sending all the luggages and it actually so far there hasn't been any, any uh, of such cases. Yeah. All right. So I think that's all of the questions for now. The last one would be, um, because this whole COVID crisis is going on us, is there any news from Switzerland about travel bans, travel restrictions, border closures? Well, I mean, it's, as you know, can imagine, it changes kind of daily, right? So we're all trying to um, have the news as soon as we can. I mean, for now, um, Switzerland now is, is uh, easing some of its uh, restrictions, but that's nationally. So they're, st they're starting to open up a little, but there are actually at the moment until the, fifth of, uh, the 15th of June, there are no we visas issued for uh, Switzerland and Schengen. Okay. So even if you want to, you cannot get it. But uh, we are hoping, of course, it will be possible again after that, as soon okay. as possible. So just to repeat that, until June 15, Swiss embassies are not issuing Schengen visas for the moment. Actually, all the European, I mean, all the same under Schengen visa, yeah. Regarding the STP, if you want to avail it with the two GSAs, you'll have to ask them yourselves because we are not sure about how they deal with their crisis um but yeah i think that's all of the questions for now but before everyone goes actually jennifer also wants to share something before we all leave and have a group picture it's really just some tips because i do see some of the questions that can be easily answered um, you know, just to wrap up this session for the webinar. So, are you able to see my slides? Uh, presenter view at the moment. Okay. Are you able to see my slide now? Yes. Is it? Great. Fantastic. So, thank you, Melanie. So, uh, really then, not uh, just a really quick wrap up to a very good sharing by Swiss Travel System. I think there's a lot of questions and it's really good because Melanie is doing a deep dive. So, do attend that deep dive if you have any more questions regarding Swiss Travel System. So, it's just a little tip from me on uh, our website that you can actually utilize because I understand from Eva, Marie, Mary Jane, they are talking about what if the client is coming from Milan? So a lot of things, if you can bookmark our site, myswitzerland.com, you actually have a lot of planning tools that you can actually utilize. So under the planning tab, you can actually click on travels to Switzerland. So in the event that your client is actually coming from other places, you can actually have a good resource here to actually know how to get about. And also another good tip is under the planning side, you have the brochures that you can actually download for all of your clients, for them to be excited about Switzerland, you can send it across in a link or in a PDF format. Again, also for, I think, Jenny I was asking, you know, what are the suggested hotels that, you know, is around the region that we, you know, have promoted uh, across this whole sharing. So another nifty and neat trick that I always uh, promote is, you know, in the tab accommodation. You click show all and there's a variety of hotels that's available for you to choose from. We're just not limited to hotels. There's another tab that actually show you other accommodations as well. And then I highly recommend the filter tab where you can actually specify the region that you would like to search your hotels on. So this is something that might be interesting for all of you. So, of course, uh, myswitzerland.com site, uh, if you scroll down right to the bottom, to always be kept in touch with us, 
please follow us on the different social media uh, platform like Facebook, Instagram, so you are always abreast of what Switzerland has to offer. And of course, you can actually subscribe to our newsletter uh, in myswitzerland.com as well. So that's something that's really good. And of course, uh, you know, we have leisure, we have mice. Uh, you know, really a rule of thumb is if you know the client, uh, they have a group and the employers are paying, it's pretty much myswitzerland.com slash meetings. So over here, it is a fantastic resource as well. It's again, you have that filter option that gets you to the suitable hotel. And additionally, they would actually show you the capacity that a function room can hold. So you can actually get an idea what's the size of the function room, whether the hotel actually fits your seminar needs. And some of the hotels they suggested they do have the package cost already on the site itself as well. So you can actually uh, go ahead and take a look there too. So, um, you know, Switzerland is beautiful. We are talking so a lot of romantic elements that we can actually explore in Switzerland. So if you encounter any of your clients that was thinking of a dream wedding in Switzerland, we also do cater for that and give you a very good resource, which is myswitzerland.com slash weddings. And then of course, um, you know, we are always in by pictures. So Pinterest, Instagram is your good resource for weddings that I highly recommend you can actually follow. Our hashtag is say yes in Switzerland. So that's something that you can look forward to if you do have uh, someone in mind to go to Switzerland to hold your wedding as well. So I'm gonna link back to Chloe so I can suggest some possible uh, Chloe team romantic packages or wedding venues. Uh, like what Melanie has said, Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa, that's where uh, they actually met. Again, reunite after a long separation and of course the Grand Hotel Gisbert. That's where uh, Siodan, uh, Siodan and Captain Ree also was uh, at the location. So these are two really nice hotels for wedding venues too. And of course, uh, you know, we need something to do over in Switzerland. According to Chloe too, Edelweiss is a flower that has been, you know, mentioned throughout the drama. So we are really famous of flowers as well. So we are really good with nature. So there's a lot of flower trails that you can actually entice your client to actually go about. Some of the trails are free. So go ahead and take a look at our website and see what is the most suitable for your client if it's a leisure client. And then of course, paragliding. This is a really good activity because crash landing on you. So they crash landing via a paraglide. So this is a really famous activity in Switzerland as well. You can actually arrange a proposal on a paragliding activity. I mean, this is something that you can always think about and actually share with your clients. So this is something that is good. And then of course, last but not least, we have the Switzerland Travel Academy. So we have equipped you really well with this webinars. Uh, with trade wings but if you want to further your knowledge i highly highly encourage everyone to actually get yourself certified so you are able to use the switzerland travel expert logo and of course um, there is core segments that you can actually choose to finish and then there is specialization segment as well depending on how you want to gear your learning and then a certificate would be issued once you have done your completion and you have the right to use the Switzerland Travel Expert logo. So that's all I have to actually wrap this up. And again, I leave you with my contact, jennifer.chin at switzerland.com. And of course, mine is skip.sea at switzerland.com. So that, you know, in the event that I am not available, someone will get to you as well. Again, uh, you know, give us some time to actually work out uh, some of your inquiries. Again, after the session, keep your questions coming and then we will do our best to actually assist you. Of course, um, Phyllis, uh, you would probably be the best resource for Switzerland as well. So go ahead and actually, you know, talk to Phyllis first and then, you know, you can actually uh, approach us where we will be most glad to assist you. So that's about it. I'll just hand over back to Phyllis. 
Okay, thank you so much, Jennifer and Melanie. So everyone, thanks again for participating. For those who are asking if we are going to send to you the PowerPoint, the slides, the recorded webinar full of it, um, we are going to send, just like the first webinar, an email to you afterwards. So the Swiss Tourism Board is going to send to you the recorded webinar as well as the um, PowerPoint presentation that they have. I'm not sure if you're also going to send a certificate or is there going to be a certificate as well? Because the last time we actually also sent some certificates coming from Dominique. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, there are new participants that would require a certification. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So just to note that only the participants who were in the actual webinar, we do have an access to the list of the people who went inside the room. Um, they are the only ones that are going to, to receive the certificate because there are a lot of people who registered but were not able to make it to the webinar. Unfortunately, they would not be able to get the certificate itself. Um, also, the Swiss travel packages, we're going to send them to you as soon as possible. We're just trying to finalize all the details. And I think there are still the people who participated in the last cash landing on Switzerland contest. So we are going to send the, the winning entries or the winning agencies by 6 p.m. But I can see that they are actually in the room. So I would like to congratulate them already. Um, can you just stop sharing the screen, Jennifer? I will send, I will just show the winners for the contest. So without further ado, I would like to announce the contest for the recent crash cash landing on Switzerland. So these are the three um, agents who won. These are based on the entries that were um, judged by SCIB. So it's not us who judged it. <laughs> Don't blame us if you didn't win. <laughs> so there were a total of 30 entries that SCIB actually judged and based on that these are all the winners. So congratulations. Our third prize winner is Golden World Travel and I think Sir Jeremy is here. We also have Swire Travel second place and then we have TQ Travel Solutions as a first place winner for this contest. So we are going to send you more information later on when we announce the winners um, afterwards. So congratulations again to everyone who's won. And for those who didn't win, don't worry, you still win quite a bit. Um, those who were able to participate, all the other 30 contestants aside from the, the champions and the three runner-ups, you actually have a guaranteed slot already in our interliner that we will be releasing this year if things are okay. If not, then it's going to be next year. Interliner package for a Cloy inspired Switzerland package. So that means that instead of paying the passenger price, you're only going to pay the agent price. So that's a guaranteed slot for all the 30 agents who actually participated in this contest. So congratulations again to everyone who joined. We're going to send you all the information about everything else. And thank you again for participating in our webinar. See you are we going to do the, the selfie, Feliz? I'm sorry? We are going to do the selfie. Ah, yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> so everyone else, can you, if you're still in the room, can you please turn on your videos so that we can do our group feed as usual. Show your outfit of the day. <laughs> There. So I think we can only take a picture of the 25 people who show up first. Again, thank you everyone. Smile. Give your best smile. <laughs> I have my mother, my bossing <laughs> on my side. <laughs> so one, two, three. All right. Thank you again, everyone. And we see you again. We'll let you know if there's going to be I think we are going to send another webinar for you for next week. Just block your date on April 28th. Just finalizing the time for now. But yes, see you again next time and have a great day. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.
Thanks to Melanie, Jennifer, and Dominique, and everyone else in Swiss Tourism. <laughs> Till next time. Welcome. <laughs>